Okay, you've got a frequency distribution. Here we're focusing on qualitative, and now you want a Pareto chart. Make sure you've already got frequencies sorted, largest to smallest. We did that in the last video. Uh, to make the Pareto chart um, or any bar graph, we usually only highlight the frequencies first. Um, it should work highlighting both columns and it may even work highlighting everything with the headers too. Let's try it with everything first. Um, then we, we're not going to include the total there. Insert. You'll see a little icon for the vertical bar. You can find it recommended, but it's better just to pick what you want here. We want it just a standard 2D column. And there it did look like it got most of that right. Um, I'm going to go back and show you how we do it. More often we start with the simplest thing first and add in elements as we go. Because with quantitative distributions, when you have numbers in this column, it tends to make two different sets of bars that don't really reflect the data. So just highlighting frequency and creating a 2D chart, column chart. I'm going to shift that over. I don't really need relatives, so I'll just put that over the top of that. Now the rest of the video we're just going to look at how we add things. There's two ways to do it. Um, now in the we're in the chart tools area because that comes up as soon as you insert a chart. You've got either design or format and you can go to add chart element to add a whole bunch of different things. You can also find these under the plus sign next to the chart. When it's selected, when it's not selected you don't see it. Um, but I tend to go up here to add chart element. We always want a chart title. And we don't know much about this data set, so we're not going to be able to use much for the title. We're just going to say political party. And notice how this is selected. My typing's going on up here. That's how we want it. You can double click in here and type in this box, but it's better up here. It's a little easier to edit. It's especially easier when you're going sideways. Oops. Let me go back here. So I'm going to just select it and type political party of 77 voters. That's all I can really say. Now if I hit enter, it sends it down into the box. Next chart element will do uh, axis title horizontal. Again, that's selected, but I'm going to type up here. This is party. Enter, sends it down. Another axis title for the vertical axis. This will be frequency. Just type it, enter, sends it down. Um, and then notice how these parties aren't written because I didn't select them. So to do that, I click select data and edit the horizontal labels. So that vertical bars is what series one represents. Horizontal labels, edit and highlight those parties. So it gives kind of a long name. Sheet 1 is telling you it's from Sheet 1. Sometimes we'll go across multiple sheets and from C2 to C8 with all the dollar signs standard for the um, data selection. Now we should be done there and we've got our chart. Um, one thing we will do for quantitative data, it's not as big a deal here, is we will right click on the bars and format the data series to get rid of the gaps. So this gap width down to zero. Series overlap, we can also do zero there. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter too much for qualitative. Um, you know, it's nice to maybe have a little gap just to see the separate bars or the other way you can do it is um, with the paint can you can put a border on those so let's look at what it looks like now just a big blue you know kind of moving piece here format data series paint can border and then we'll do a black line make it pretty small go two five and see how that looks so I'll close this up Click somewhere other than the bars. Eh, it didn't really do much for me. Let's go back to that. Uh, oh, black. Maybe that was the problem. There we go. Just thin lines to separate them. This is ID. Uh, but yeah, that should be the final product. We got our Pareto chart. Frequencies from high to low.